Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega, its five-month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one Savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Greetings, citizens and space cadets. It is I, Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger, at your service. Ow. Whoa. Well, it is so good to be back on board Skylab Omega. I spent a lot of time on planet Bithynia. And do you know what happened? Dr. Salmonix convinced Captain Yago to show up and repair our ship. <laughs> well, I was totally shocked at that. I never thought we'd get friend, uh, friendly and get help from Captain Yago, but you never know. But I've been looking around the engine and uh, seeing the work he did, and he really is quite good. Yeah, excellent job. Now I just have to check all the other systems, make sure everything is up and running, because we're going to be traveling through space and... Uh-oh, I dropped my wrench. I better get that out of there before it does more damage. Let me see. Oh, ow, oh, that is really down there. I can't, I can't reach out. Let me get inside and see if I can reach down in there. There we go. I almost got it. Oh, yeah, there is. So, whoa, ow, oh, I'm stuck. Uh-oh, ah, uh, help. Anybody on board, give me a hand. Hello, help. Uh-oh, I forgot the entire crew is still on planet Bithynia. Ah, the computer. Computer, would you please send an interstellar distress signal? Say that the commander is in urgent need of help. Computer, are you there? Computer? Oh, no. Now I'm really stuck. I hope I get a visitor or somebody who can help me out of here. Help! Help anyone! Interstellar distress signal! Oh! Oh, no. I did get a visitor. <sighs> oh, what a great position to be in when you show up. Oh, give me a hand, please. A little help. Oh. Let me stand up. Well, Captain Yago, yes. what are you doing here? Oh, that's a fine greeting. <laughs> To have the person who comes to rescue you, I heard your distress signal. Yes, well, thank you. Yes. I see uh, you're still here in the quadrant. I thought you didn't like foreign ships traveling through your quadrant. I don't. That's why I came to repair your vessel, so we can get rid of you. I noticed that. Thank you for that. You know, you really are quite a good mechanic. I know. <clears throat> and thank you also for answering my call for help. You know, that reminds me of something I was reading about Lydia. I'm afraid to ask, who is Lydia? Oh, I am so glad you asked. Uh, she was in the Bible. Of Let course. me get it out and read it to you right now. I missed that. Oh, here we are. Now, at this time, Paul and his friends were traveling to a colony named Philippi. Oh, we have a space service station orbiting a planet called Philippi. <laughs> That was also the name of the place Lydia lived. Ah. Isn't it funny how God works? Uh, it's just a coincidence. Well, I don't think it's a coincidence. You see, Paul and his friends went to a river just outside of town so they can pray. And who do you think they met? Um, uh, Taylor Swift? No! A Taylor Swift? No, it was Lydia. Yeah, Lydia and her friends, a whole group of women, so they just so happened to be gathered at the river, and Paul began to speak to them. Uh, so what did this uh, woman, uh, Lydia, do? I'll tell you what. I'll let you read it in the virtual Bible. Ah, uh, yes. The bibbidi boops. The bibbidi boops. Go yes. on and beep them. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, all right, let's see what it says. Uh, one of those listening was a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of... Thyatira, who was a worshiper of God. The Lord opened her heart to respond to Paul's message. Uh, respond, how did she respond? Well, it says here that she and her whole family were baptized. Uh. See, that means after hearing Paul's message, they believed that Jesus was Lord and they wanted to be baptized. Uh. See, when someone is baptized, they are dipped underwater or sprinkled with water as a sign that they belong to Jesus. But she was already a worshiper of God. Uh, what is the difference? Well, Paul was always trying to teach people that Jesus was God's one and only son. 
Lydia did worship God, but now she made Jesus the Lord of her whole life. Her baptism was a symbol. that It was a way for her to show the world that she would love Jesus with her whole life and serve him forever. Oh, so God opened her heart to do that. Yes, and there's more. She also responded by inviting Paul and his friends to stay in her home. Now, this helped Paul to do his mission in spreading God's word. All because God opened her heart when he had her in the right place at the right time. It is just coincidence. Maybe she went there to uh, dye her sissy cloth purple. <laughs> you call it coincidence. I call it God's plan. Ugh. God brought Lydia and Paul together, and then he opened Lydia's heart to Paul's message about Jesus. God's plan, don't make me laugh. Though I do like this Lydia. She was a, a doer, not just a listener. She was a woman of action. Ah, that's true, yes. The Lord opened her heart to respond, and she did respond, just as you responded to my message to help. Are you calling me a frilly fabric dealer? No, but I am saying that God is the one who opens our hearts to respond. You have a problem. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Your solar focalizer is out of alignment. Uh, oh. It needs to be adjusted. Lucky for you, I can fix this. Praise God. Uh, there you go again. Talking about your God. That's all you earthlings do. Well, once you experience the love of God, you can't help but talk about him. Uh, love, love, love. God, God, God. Uh, that's all you ever speak of. I notice you keep coming back to hear more. I just um, uh, came to help. Maybe. And maybe someday you'll respond. Uh, respond how? By serving your Jesus? You never know. It could happen. <laughs> After all, say it with us, kids. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever! Captain Yago, let me make you a nice dinner. Why don't you lead the way to the kitchen? After you. All right, I'll lead the way.